Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and I don't even know how to describe this video. <sighs> okay, first of all, this is the Sisters of Silence. It's okay, I'm an acolyte, haven't create, I haven't done the vow yet, so I can speak. This is a Sisters of Silence outfit, not a female Adeptus Custodes outfit. Just want to point that out there. Sisters of Silence, which I thought were basically the female Adeptus Custodes. <sighs> All right, so yeah, we're doing it. We're jumping in. I wasn't going to, I really did not want to. I really did not want to have this conversation but but it so it's okay so it started off I heard about there being female custodies and I was like oh okay so they're adding in female custodies I mean Belisarius Call can do anything these days so sure uh, there was a need for female custodies for some reason so okay there's there's now gonna be new female custodies jumping in. I mean, nothing in particular said that there couldn't be female custodies other than the fact that, you know, only the strongest survive becoming Adeptus custodies, the strongest of the strongest and females are not among the strongest humans. That's just the facts. Okay, so, so, so I thought that was what it was. I thought there was going to be female custodies. Um, and, and I was like, all right, you know, you do you. <laughs> Games Workshop can do as they like. But this is not, this is not that. And then I heard that, and then I heard the words, since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians. Since the beginning, since the beginning of the 10,000, there were female custodians, women custodians. And so, no, <laughs> no, 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 there hasn't. Trying to suggest there it, <laughs> that there have been is uh, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You go back even last year and it's like no no clearly clearly only men the females in the custodies were sisters of silence they're not custodies but they're sisters of silence and they are fantastic ladies i mean everyone feels well because they're blanks but they feel the intimidation from the sisters of silence they're really cool characters they could use more models. Sisters of Silence could use more models. Why not do that? Instead of suggesting that there were female custodians the whole time. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> of course there wasn't female custodians the whole time. What are you getting on with? Uh, okay, but, but I was like, you know what? I'm I'm sure there are. I mean, there's there's people going to fight that. I don't have to. I don't have to put my two cents in. I don't. I don't need to do that. But then, but then, today, I learned that apparently, apparently, according to one article that I thought was for Warhammer, and you know Warhammer fans, um. If you don't like the idea of female custodies suddenly being around forever, you're a bigot. Really. 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 I'm not impressed. <laughs> I am not impressed. Not impressed at all. And if that, that's going to make me a bigot. And apparently, even worse. <laughs> even worse things, but come at me, boys girls. 
Really? No. No, no. Adeptus custodies were not always female. That's just how it is. You might not like it, but that's them facts. <laughs> I have absolutely no problem with new Adeptus custodies being females. I don't think it's necessary. I think the Sisters of Silence should have more models. I mean, you've got like 10, wait, no, no, I think only five, and you just make them in groups of 10 because these are duplicates. So yeah, you've got five models plus Alea. So six models. There could absolutely be more. At Sisters of Silence models. This, the, there is no limit. You could make so, so many more and you could make absolutely brand new looking things, vehicles, weapons to go with them because they're so mysterious. That would be awesome. This is not the way to get more females into Warhammer. By the way, it's not like it's not like you need more females in Warhammer. We'll say that. There are a lot already. All over the place. I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. But I will say that I do not appreciate Warhammer fans who appreciate the lore being called bigots for sticking up for it. The lore is so important. It's not everything, but do you know how many conversations I have had with people who adore the lore? And might I remind you, I don't know who I'm talking to at this moment, but might I remind you that Warhammer is a game. The lore behind Warhammer is a fantasy. And that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> this is where people can free themselves from the craziness of the real world, which can absolutely be crazy. No one needs to bring that craziness into the 41st millennia. Things are going to be different in the 41st millennia. They aren't necessarily the right way of going about life. I mean, there's some problems in the Imperium of Man. There'll be problems. But female custodians, female adeptus custodies was not one of them. <laughs> you had an out. It's the Sisters of Silence. They are really cool ladies. And I am ashamed of the fact that you went oh, that route. And I thought I would mention that. And I'm very put out, very put out with the bigots, bigots, really, really, that's bigots, really. Kind of shows that you don't have much of an argument, I think. Bigots. All right. That's enough that also, I was really excited, really excited for Warhammer. The, the TV series coming out, I was really excited for it. And now, what have you done? What have you done? Don't, I don't know about you, but I happen to recall that Witcher had a problem. And Henry Cavill left the Witcher because it wasn't following the lore. And Henry Cavill is our Warhammer player celebrity. What are you doing? What are you doing? Messing up his army messing up his army you fools mm -hmm. i want this warhammer series to be a smash i want it to be a smash and henry cavill who from what i can tell because i mean i've never met the fellow would also have wanted it to be a smash and would have wanted it to stick to the lore that everyone, that enormous amount of people love. Pre-female custodies. There are so many females already in Warhammer. You don't have to wreck the Brotherhood and put them in there. It makes no sense. I'm frustrated. <laughs> 
I, I think that's 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 about all I want. Okay, so I okay. If you make a complaint, you must create a solution. I've got you. I have got you. I've got the solution. Make more sisters of battle. Voila, we've got more sisters, more ladies. Yay. There could definitely be more. Make some more sisters, sorry, not sisters of battle, sisters of silence. They're awesome ladies. I would love to see more of them. I'd love to see them on bikes and all of the custody stuff, but you know, in miniature form so they actually fit. Um, make that. Apologize for the foolishness of whoever said that there were always women in, uh, in the 10,000, in the 10,000 custodies, 10,000. Um, apologize. That was a mistake. And move forward. And also apologize for the codex, which suggests that there are females out there. I don't even mind. I don't even mind that there could be new females. I have no problem with the fact, I mean, Belisarius, Belisarius call has gone to town with all kinds of creations. It could easily happen that there could be future female Adeptus custodies. I don't think it's necessary at all, but that could make sense. What you cannot do is say that there were always female custodies because that is not so. And people who are like, what are you doing? Are not bigots because of it. They like the storyline. And you know what? A lot of women, a lot of women like the lore of Warhammer. They, just like me, I'm one of them. So there's at least one out there. <laughs> but I know more who like the story of Warhammer, who like the women, who like the sisters of battle, but who also like the men in Warhammer. Because you can admire a person in a game without it having to be exactly like who you are. I don't, I don't need someone like myself. I mean, I, they're, they're out there. They're, it's people, the women already exist in there, but I don't need it. I want people who would make the right decision and people who don't make the right decision to be fought, fighting against the people right, making the right decision. This is only war. Warhammer 40 k Warhammer 40,000 is about war and obstacles and a whole bunch of different opinions coming together and not everything is correct and not everything but it makes you think when the when the space marines are like kill the xenos purge the xenos it makes you think when the tau work together with other uh, with other civilizations, when they feel disgust for the crude that are carnivorous or um, <sighs> cannibalistic, but still work together. Nothing is perfect in Warhammer 40,000. Nothing is perfect in life. It wasn't meant to be perfect. These are, these are wartime heroes and anti-heroes and that's okay. I don't know. I've probably gone on way too much, but I just want to make it clear that I think you should fix it. Try better if you want to involve females. Even if you don't... Just make some of the other races, some of the other... some of the Xenos a little more forefront in your stories. What's wrong with Shadow Sun? Lilith has some problems, but you could use her. James R. All of those demonettes. Sisters of Silence. So many different females to choose from. Just don't, don't cry. Just try to go back and don't gaslight. And don't call people bigots because they don't agree with you. That's nonsense. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry for anyone who didn't want to hear any of that. Okay, that's it. Bye.